Hey Foundry Church, this is Matt Kuman. I'm excited to be with you today. We are in our second week in our series called Wait. Um, and this specific week we're going to be talking about a character in the Bible named Joseph. And I'm going to start out by reading his intro today out of our Wait series devotional. So join me today. Um, it says this, If I were to come to you today and tell you that I had a dream where 16 swans were slowly swimming around you as you were kayaking on Lake Mac, you would probably think I was a bit odd. If I told you that the swans were a symbol of death, which meant you had 16 days to live, you would think I was crazy and would never talk to me again, right? See, in this story of Joseph, we find that dreams were not all that uncommon. Interpreting dreams as a way of life for many of them. There are stories all over the Old Testament of the dreams of Abimelech, Joseph, Daniel, Samuel, and many others. Over the next week, we will trace the life of Joseph. Joseph is one of the youngest brothers in his family, which is why we find him tending the flocks. He was born to a family that you may recognize. His parents were Jacob and Rachel. Jacob had a notorious reputation of tricking his brother Esau into selling his birthright. After fleeing from his brother, he ran to Laban and worked for 14 years to finally marry the girl of his dreams. That story involves some trickery as well, and that's out of Genesis 28. It's no surprise that Joseph's family would be a bit skeptical of his dream since trickery seems to run in that family. Joseph had the odds stacked against him. He was hated by most of his brothers, but, his, but was the favorite of his father, which we know only makes the story worse. His dream only pushed his brothers to despise him more. His dream of having his family bow down to him was not only a bit far-fetched, but ridiculous. Don't miss out on any day this week as this story unfolds. Um, and throughout this week, you'll have the chance to dive deeper into this story in Genesis, as well as have some time in prayer and devotion. So I encourage you to stick with it this week. And if you guys need one of these books, let us know, and we'd love to get one of these in your hands. Have a great week, Foundry, and we hope to see you guys soon.